Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Um, this is uh, an idea that I'm building off of uh, Robert Murray. He, um, he uh, set up a video a few days ago and uh, basically uh, talks about uh, water purification. Um, now, I, in my general area, I don't necessarily have too much worries about uh, water or at least water purification. I live in Jersey, we have an aquifer that's the size of Manhattan, and it's probably the best water historically has ever been. I mean, that being said, we also been dropping toxins across New Jersey, that's why we all glow green. But, um, I just had some ideas, and I figured the best way and easiest way for me to tell you about them and convey my message over to Mr. Murray was to draw it out on diagram, give him a video response and a video idea. And so uh, I guess the best thing to do would be to uh, show you what it is. And uh, I mean, there's a few things that I might have left out too uh, during, during filming of it, uh, which was maybe adding a weight to the uh, separating cylinder. And then also too, uh, once it's all a sealed unit again, you can then push the cylinder back up, adding positive pressure and uh, the vapor will uh, condense at a even higher temperature. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. So, um, this is just basically the idea, I haven't built the device yet, and kind of the way that I'm thinking about uh, something that uh, Robert Murray was uh, talking about. He was talking about uh, using uh, uh, vacuum uh, or our less atmospheres of pressure to distill salt water to fresh water. Now the benefits of that are is you can then distill with less heat energy and then you know cooling is uh, is another thing that you can think about and you can save yourself some energy too uh, by doing kind of what I'm thinking. So this is just basically a theoretical idea that's why I brought out the uh, dry erase board. So here we go. So, uh, basically, um, I'm not really super concerned about water, but it will work the same for water. My idea, I'd like to, I want to use it for uh, alcohol distil distil distillation, uh, ethanol distillation. Uh, basically, to run cars, heaters, water heaters, heat homes, cook food, that kind of stuff. Um, ethanol and alcohol are one and the same the only difference between alcohol and ethanol is ethanol you're not going to drink it when it when you're done and so you can get away with a lot more like uh there's a certain point in alcohol where uh you the first part of the run like as it's called you know you kind of just throw that away because it has uh bad ph levels bad acid levels stuff like that that you don't want to consume but ethanol is completely different and uh this is called vacuum distillation uh, I've read a couple of articles to kind of get the general idea. I kind of had the idea of what I wanted to do before. Checked it up on some information. So basically what it comes down to is, is so uh, 0 0.05 uh, atmospheres, so that's uh, a half of an atmosphere less, is going to distill water at uh, 30C. So that's somewhere in, in the 90 degree range. So a hot uh, a hot summer day uh, will distill at uh, 0 0.05 and you can get be much better than that too. So what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to draw this out for an alcohol distillation. Uh, so you have your mash right here. You have a, uh, a valve. Okay. Go over and now you'd have a, uh, your, this would be a water jacket around here, um, but you don't need that. With my idea, what you're going to do is you're going to have a valve here. It's going to allow pressure, at, uh, outside pressure to come in. And now you have a, uh, a closed cylinder, maybe a diaphragm, uh, maybe two different cylinders that are going to... Uh, pull out of each other. Basically what we're going to do, or what my idea is, is um, you're going to take a cylinder, it's going to be airtight, 
but moves along this inner cylinder. So, uh, and then what you do is it pulls down, and uh, as it pulls down, it'll be increasing the volume inside of this chamber, and uh, as a benefit of increasing this volume of the entire unit with this valve open, it will then drop the atmospheres of pressure to negative pressure. Now, I, don't, I haven't done any kind of testing, any kind of real research to find out exactly how much volume I need to do, but I'm sure there's a simple formula to figure it out. I mean, uh, I'm sure it's somewhere along the lines of once you double the volume, it's going to be half as much uh, atmospheres inside the sealed unit. Um, makes sense right now. I could find out I'm wrong later. So basically now you have, you've heated your mash, so add some fire to it, make it look a little bit like fire, so that's heat. So you added your heat to it, your uh, alcohol or water has uh, vaporized, it's now trapped inside of the atmosphere inside of the unit. You close your valve, so you close your valve open this valve and what it does is now you put it over here close to this valve what that does is that lets uh, positive pressure come back in and equalize this whole system so now it's back to you know positive one uh, atmospheres and then closing this valve off now you now can can condense the vapor at a higher temperature so you can theoretically distill at 90 degrees and condense at 90 degrees you probably want to make a bigger temperature difference and I'm not this is still theoretical I haven't done any testing I haven't even built anything yet but that's kind of what I'm thinking and uh, what I think it would uh, is something to add to uh, mr. Uh, Mr. Murray uh, Smith's uh, idea. So that's what I'm thinking. So uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.